Allen, item 13, report on transportation planning activities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, most of these I am not going to uh, go through individually. I would uh, welcome any questions you have about our status report. I do want to call to your attention uh, a very brief summary of what's known as the FAST Act. You probably are aware this is a new multi-year federal transportation bill. We're very excited to see uh, at the federal level initiative taken to not only provide multi-year support for transportation investments, but an actual increase in both highway and transit funding. First time we have seen that for a long, a long time, and that's uh, helping the Texas Department of Transportation right now, for example, as they're looking at some new funds uh, near term that may become uh, available. And although uh, there's a lot on this page, these couple of pages about the FAST Act, there's still a lot we need to learn. One of the programs that has been um, a cornerstone to our work, the Surface Transportation Program, and we discussed it briefly earlier. Uh, I, I call it the uh, O negative of transportation funding. We can use it almost everywhere to help. Um, has now become a Surface Transportation Block Grant Program, and we don't understand as yet what that means. Will it be administered in a different way? Will our responsibilities for those funds be increased? So I'll let you know more about the FAST Act as it goes forward into uh, sort of the administrative process as the uh, federal government and the state uh, work to develop uh, implementation of these new activities. And I don't want to uh, forget to mention that this is the first federal bill that specifically has provided funding for freight activities. We're really excited about that. At the state level, there is an allocation of funds to the states. At the metropolitan level, it's a competitive process. It's a, it, uh, it may be a lot like the Tiger program, I don't know, but we are uh, starting to work right now with all of our potential partner organizations. I believe to be successful, we're not only going to need projects of impact, which we have many in our region, but we're going to need to show a significant partnership to attract those uh, discretionary funds to, to our area. Is that taking me? Uh, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, I'm being reminded that I skipped 13C. Uh, I do want to uh, return to this because I want to invite uh, Quincy Allen to uh, speak briefly to an exciting new initiative by the tech stop working with the governor to bring additional resources to some of the most congested areas of the state. So, Quincy, I'm just going to invite you to work where we are in that discussion. Thank you. 
Mr. Chairman, I just add that uh, TxDOT is uh, looking at uh, making a very um, significant investment in the urban areas that can affect congestion. Uh, they, uh, if they do select uh, projects for our area, we'll be returning to you for your concurrence in any of those project activities. As Quincy said, several of these are already projects that you've taken some action to advance. So we may be able to do them sooner. Uh, we also have some projects that need additional funding to, to, for their completion, uh, such as the uh, 59, 610 interchange just short ways from our office here. So I, I want to uh, echo his excitement about this. Uh, it's fantastic to see uh, the state being able to bring resources where it's most critically needed. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you, Quincy.